Right, boys. It's going to be an uh, interesting end to the season. Um, obviously, we've got four games to go at this point. It's very tight at the top. Been topsy turvy. Switcheroos at the top of the table. Let's get into it, shall we? This is why, as you can see with the results, you know, a bit of a mixture again. Um, when he joined us last time, it was at Elverham Football. We beat him 1-0 thanks to that howler from the defender and the goalkeeper and just no communication. Uh, and then we had the hardest challenge, i.e. second in the league at the time, or top of the league as it were. No, no, second in the league. And, uh, yeah, we were 3-0 up and things were rosy. Then they came back and uh, put it back to 3 all with a late equaliser. They did have a penalty saved as well, so I think that's the first one our keeper had saved all season. A uh, bit of a bugger when your keeper's got a 7.2 and, uh, yeah, they scored three goals. So it tells you how how many chances they had. Let's just say that. Unfortunately, though, we followed it up with a defeat against Moss FK, who were, I think, 10th at the time. We won nil up after three minutes and then we just did turn up at all in the second half. It was just all them and eventually they brought through... Uh, we huffed and puffed, hit the post a couple of times, but we couldn't get the equaliser that we probably just about deserved, like, in, based on the last 10 minutes anyway. But then, something strange happened. Two 6-2 wins in a row. Uh, we started off with, uh, you know, going 1-0 down and 2-1 down against Alter IF. And uh, we got an equaliser just before half-time, uh, thanks to Nordheim. And then the one to put us ahead on 42 minutes. And then 3 2, I'm thinking this could go either way. This it seems to be a bit of a, one of those kind of goals. And then second half came out, and we just still all those. We just absolutely destroyed them. It was absolutely fantastic to watch. Um, yeah, Samson getting a couple of goals, Nordam with a couple of goals, and Sander and Arakion and rounded it off. And then we had a home game against Nardo uh, FK, and we went 1 0 up after like 18 seconds, which was very, very good. And we just destroyed them. But. The match stats, you wouldn't you wouldn't think so. I think they actually had more shots on us. Uh, we were just far more clinical until the last minute when they, we decided to let them score twice. You know, for shits and giggles like. But as a result, it leaves us... Oh, by the way, Simonson got four goals in that game. Norderheim another two. Uh, thanks to that, that result, or those results, should I say. We are top of the league because Fredrikstad lost their last game against Asane Football. Now, it just came up with, a, with this with this news feed, which I'll get to now. This one here, basically, this is the running. I think this is probably the best screen I could show you. I'll move out of the way for Lynn's purposes here, just so you can see that there. Not really anything to worry about, apart from the fact that they're playing us. But yeah, you can see here, 4th, 6th, 5th and 7th. Not necessarily going to be like that all the way through, but it, it, it tells you it's going to be quite tough in comparison to Frederickstadt Football Club, who have only got Berum, who are in 3rd. Um, that's that going to be the hardest challenge. But they have dropped points before to teams who were down near the bottom. So I'm hopeful that we can hold on. All we have to do is win every single game and we'll be fine, as you can see here with the table. Goal difference is, is pretty evident as well. So if they draw one game and we lose, we can afford that once. Um, but I'd like to think we can beat these. Asane, really, they worry me probably the most out of the lot, just purely for the fact that they don't concede many goals. It seems. I mean, the beaten three, one Frederick stat. That is, uh, that's a sad did two Frederick stat. And yeah, it's just going to be tough. And I think this is just evident as how hard the task is going to be. So hopefully we can see it out. But looking at this t this screen again, and it looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Really, Roy Simonson has picked up like six goals in the last two games. It's helped him leap to five goals clear in his goal scoring charts. And I couldn't can't believe that from the point when I first took over this team. And he was averaging like four point odd in the last five games. It's like, whoa. And how he's come on leaps and bounds. This is him here. Uh, I'm not really in the way this time. But yeah, he's actually finally gone from pace 12 to 13. And yeah, he's showing real signs of being actually a really big player for us while I'm here anyway. And as you can see, he got a 10 out of 10 with two assists and four goals. And that's really like helped his match rating, average rating that is. And uh, yeah, Nordheim is, is climbing a little bit is nearly catching them now. Nine, I said nearly, four, four behind. Assist is uh, from a strike. It's not that easy to come by, but these have stayed stagnant in terms of their assists. And Roy Thomason obviously leaping to the 
top of the uh, Players of the Match uh, awards. I spoke briefly about the boardroom and asking for more staff and that. Uh, I did it again. I managed to get one of each, a physio, a coach and a um, scout. So the scouts, you know, 10 and 12, I think, is his, his judging ability or whatever. Yeah. But the coach is this guy here, uh, the guy you can see here. Technical 12, uh, mental 9. It was basically someone for ball control. I'm still, I, I don't know if you improve all your attributes like, in terms of me. Right, I'll click on me in a moment just for, so you can see the full scale of things. But I'm not sure if I put them all on, I, I think all the attributes would go up. All the just get the screen on. There you go. All the attributes would go up while I'm selected, but they wouldn't seem to increase the most as mental for some reason. So I don't know how I'm managing to do that. But this is me here. My reputation, 35%. So we're getting we're getting close, like somewhere around the middle mark. Maybe being able to go to some of the better teams. Maybe should we choose to leave at some point? But as you can see here. You know, uh, things are, you know, we're nearly at the 10 marks for quite a few of the um, attributes, as it were, now. So, loyalty to the players is a bit shocking, but everything else, look at those full, nearly full bars on most of them. Uh, managing finances is shit hot, so yeah, uh, what can I say? If I go for a job and they're worried about finances, and they're like swimwear boys. Right, so here we go, guys. Uh, they line up with the classic 4 1 2 2 1 formation. Uh, or for one, two, three, DM wide, as it's otherwise known. You can just not see because of me, but there you go. You can just see it there. I think. I don't know if my mouse is hiding on me. I can't see it on the recording. But never mind. Well, line up with the regular like formation. A couple of changes in terms of Rakion and starts. Uh, Johnson's come in and so sand after their long injury problems. Uh, McCarson has actually got a knock. But when he said on the fitness test beforehand, they said that he shouldn't have any problems. He's gone like 95% fitness or something like that. So let's get into it, shall we? And I think it's obvious after the 2-6-2 two, two wins, pick up where you left off last time. Well, technically not because you conceded two goals in the last couple of minutes. But you get what I mean. Right, boys, come on. We've got to keep this form going. This recent format. This, this surge of goals. I don't know why it just, it just happened. I did do a team meeting uh, after the draw and the loss. Just saying, you know, although things haven't been going right well lately, but I've, I think, you know, we can get back on track. And they were buzzing the tits off every single one of them, and I just wonder if I had has had some sort of effect on them. I'm hoping so, because I felt like they were starting to bottle it because, you know, Frederick Stack went ahead, um, and they decided to bottle it as well. So, you know, it's like when the players start getting nervous just because of the top of the league, it's like, we, we can't keep hold of the lead. Uh, well, in terms of the table, that is not in terms of the game. Right, Ericsson's got a throw. Find Simonson. Back to Ericsson. Plays it in. Cut it away. Right, Sander. To the Hoff. Can he play it in? He can't. He can dri dribble around a little bit. And then it's going to get cleared by Bratback, I want to say. Is he going to clear it? Oh, he's going to give it straight to McCallson. Long hoof. He's done quite a few of them. He got a couple of assists last time. In the last game, I think. Uh, but here's Gran. Your <laughs> Gran's going to score. Into your Gran, or whatever. You know, that old cliche team that you could get into my van or whatever five side team name into your gran that was one of them in fact at this point what's the funniest five side team you've ever witnessed when you've been playing football by five side or whatever if there's no any comments that'd be greatly appreciated just uh, as a bit of a laugh but here we go Tafesi finds Fremstat he doesn't look the quickest but he seems to be doing quite well still got the ball crosses in deep to your gran he's headed it over as if it's called Grand. So it is half time and uh, we haven't played very well and I'm going to tell them that I'm far from pleased just because that performance, or performance rather, get the English out G, it's, it's been shit really. They are fourth for a reason. They are technically the sternest test that's left over for the season. But I expect a better boys if I'm honest with you. Right, here we go, long ball at the top. Cleared away, now it's Nordheim trying to get there, it doesn't. And the strikers have played, to say how well they've played in the last two games, in fact, to be fair, either one of them has been scoring at least once in, in the last four games or so. And here we go, there we go, boys, that's what it's all about. Simonson scores, get in, early goal in the second half, and we're on his way, boys. Right, can we just go on now, get a second, just to make it a little bit easier. Nordheim, <laughs> he's in behind, that's, yeah, that's exactly why he's got nine finishing. Right, we've got a chance here, perhaps. Scoggy goes back to Braven. Wide it goes to Ericsson at the fullback. Murderous bastard. Sand. It's a bit of a loose pot, uh, a loose pole apparently. Great ball in, and, and this is exactly what happened. That, that, that's just the game for you. It's just 
shit. I'm not complaining. We're winning two 0 but when the game does stuff like that, it just makes you it just makes you die a little bit inside, doesn't it? Really. Right, here's Brat back coming forward for Emstead. I'm just about to make some changes. Two centre midfielders are coming off for Falk and uh, Kia. Um, bit of a change of pace. I'm looking a bit tired. I think you can probably see it to the left. They are, you know, they do. They are the ones that work the hardest, probably. It's cleared away, sort of. From start, square to Adaramola. <laughs> right corner. It's played in. This is our weakness. There you go. There How many goals have we conceded like that? And Granite scored. It's hit the bar, and they just react first every time. I think probably since the last last recording, the last video you watched. I think I've probably conceded four of them. Right, here we go. I've just made a final change. Ars has come on for Rakiona. He's not had the best of games today. And we're giving it away now. And it's Gran. I'm a, I'm a little bit scared now. Now it's 2-1. We need that other... That, we need that third just to, to calm his passions. Oh, no. <laughs> what a save, Brathen. And he kept hold of it. I felt sure that was going to be a goal. Oh, free kick. Tafesi. <laughs> is it the bar? We've actually reacted first. Get in. This is scary shit. And I think we've done enough. I've just pressed concentrate just to try and see it out. 2 1 win against fourth in the league. I'm very happy with that, unless, of course, they're going to score here. Hopefully, that hoof. Um, ref, please. Please, ref. Uh, there's not been any injuries or anything. Um, thank you, ref. Thank you. I'll pay you later. But anyway, yeah, fantastic stuff. We haven't played well there, in my opinion, but we've done enough. So I am happy because we've actually won the, the game. Yeah, cheers, boys. Cheers for reacting. But there's no one that played that well, to be fair. They've got the man of the match in their team, so but it is what it is, and their playoff hopes or their title hopes are over. We've ended their hopes because we're a beast, apparently. So yeah, let's uh, have a look and see what's going to be happening. Well, let's have a look at the table first. That's the table as you can see there. Uh, we are four points clear, but they've got that game in hand of Fred Frederick stats. So in fact, I'm going to play on just to see how they get on. And there you go, Frederick Stat have actually won 3 0, so they're right on his tails again. They played against bottom of the league, to be fair. They're probably going to be close to getting relegated. Let's have a look. Yeah, they need they've three games to go. They need to win every single game to not get relegated. So, unfortunately, they couldn't do us a favour, but I did, it's no more than what I expected, really. Uh, if we win our next game, we're guaranteed playoffs, so at least that's something to look forward to, it, should we not make it in terms of the outright winners. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. As you can see, it's been very topsy turvy most of the season for the top spot. Um, but probably it was edging it in terms of the amount of time spent there. So very, very happy so far in this season. Hopefully we can come to an awesome climax, um, which is you know, it's what we all strive for, isn't it, as lads, surely? I mean, there might be a couple of females looking for climaxes as well, I suppose. I doubt there's many watching this. But anyway, I'm going to come back for the last game of the season, Brat Vag. Quite apt, really, in my opinion. That's what we're going to do. One last thing I will say is I just mentioned, uh, just mentioned, just noticed this. Sandy Hillmarson, I didn't realise the name of the actual, uh, uh, in fact, I think when I signed Sandy Hillmarson, he signed him when we were technically still an Obos Lien, um team before we actually registered as relegation. So when I, I, I set a promise, I expected, I actually thought it was the league I'm, I'm in now. Uh, so next season, we've got to hit the playoffs or we'll risk losing Sandy Hillmarson. Chances are, if we have one bite at the cherry in that league, I'm going to say that I'll probably end up moving on anyway afterwards, should we not make it. Uh, I'll look to move on anyway, but I'll be probably trying to play and look for a job at the same time rather than designing, so we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated if you can join us for the next one. And until then, I will see you then. Bye-bye.